Welcome back everybody to my create playthrough. Now, I know this episode is going to come out later than I originally intended. However, I'm in the middle of a move. Well, I technically have now moved. I'm in the new place. However, I still don't have internet at the moment as the time of this recording. So uh, even if this episode's finished and edited, I won't be able to upload it. Which is... um evidence the fact that I'm playing offline right now because my skin's not loading in. I'm just going to be Steve for the moment. But so, we built this in the last episode and in this episode we are going to go guardian farm hunting. Since my goal is to move into a guardian and train it and build some cool base that will be worked out later down the line, I'm thinking this one here will be the actual base. However, that will just depend because I may find an awesome one. But as you can see, I've got a few um, monuments to um, go through. And if I feel brave, I can go all the way out there. But I'm going to be able to get a lot of sponges and just have fun. If we look at my inventory, not that I can actually see my keyboard right now. I am prepared with potions of water breathing, night vision, instant health, and invisibility. So I can stealth around if I need to. As well as the hot chocolate, which we work to get which will allow me to remove the mining fatigue debuff and in between episodes to go over so up here with my villagers I got myself what's this a works an armor smith got them all up so I got the diamond armor because why would I spend diamonds when I can get these disenchant them and then use the enchantments that I grabbed from all these other guys well not that one in particular but like look over here depth strider so I can move faster in the water mending and then Unbreaking 3, and I've got another protection guy here somewhere. So I pretty much have some of the best armor. Oh yes, and Ancient Debris, we're going to go do some netherite. I've made the goggles since I got the create mod that lets me put them on my armor. So of that, I'm going to cook up this Ancient Debris. I've got enough for five pieces, so that's my armor and my sword. Since uh, you can't exactly make a trident out of netherite, that'd be pretty cool. There's probably a mod that does it, though I'm not going to go hunting for it. Remember, no internet. But there we are. So, like this. I guess it doesn't really much shapeless. I can't count. There we are. Okay, so if I take my armor off. Da da. Oh yeah. Apart from the special enchantments like Feather Falling and Aqua Affinity. Um, and the sword. There we are. Oh wait, and then also... Oh no, it removes the enchantments. Mending, Unbreaking, Protection. What's the bet that it breaks? Nope. But there, look at that like a superhero but so with all this I'm ready to go I've got all the food I'm gonna need to go on a journey all right at the first one though I've realized I actually need to throw off my shaders because otherwise shaders and night vision don't work that well so I think if I do internal shaders it should be fine I want to use the potions of it invisibility to see if this is a good candidate for my home so basically what I'm looking for is uh, one that doesn't have any big cracks in the grounds the level is not vastly different on one side of the monument to the other basically so I can have a relatively flat environment inside because I think I think I know I'm going to chop the monument down because it's even blocks. I may not have any idea on what I would like to build or have visually pleasing, but I know even blocks is definitely not the case. So, potion of water breathing, hot chocolate, that's also for mining. Let's see, invisibility. So, invisibility works by, you can have one item, I think, from memory. Water breathing, invisibility, hot chocolate. All right, so... There's one. There's two. Oh, and night vision as well. There we are. Now I should be left alone. Cool. 
and with Depth Strider on my boots, I can move a lot faster. Hmm, it's funny, I haven't gotten the um mining fatigue yet. I haven't been to any monuments and like done fighting, so I find this really odd. Oh wait, no, I have been here. I went searching for monuments. But uh, I know it's just gravel over here, which doesn't seem that bad. So this monument Oh Okay, this is very important. See this guy? He has the mining the diving suit. Which is a little mod I've gotten sold. On, come here and give oh there we go oh no he didn't drop anything it's pretty rare oh a little spike a leg oh no I don't think this monument's gonna work yeah look at that that's a bit of a shame all right we'll take the copper oh wait this is the hot chocolate Okay. Oh, and diamonds. Excellent. I wonder if that water sounds really that for you. Well, I can just simply... There we are. Uh, we'll take the iron. I know I'm meant to be, you know, going after monuments, but I need the oil. The resources. Okay. Again. Here I'm thinking that I might not have brought enough. But I don't think this will be a good monument choice to move into since uh, I don't want this beneath it. Yeah. Okay, this monument is going to be a combat one. Alright, let's go inside and then I'm going to put my armor on. Oh, I did get a piece. Da -dun, da -dun. Alrighty. So, invisibility, instant health potions. I'm ready for war. Okay, let's see how much damage I do. Funny, I'm still getting the th am I still getting the thorns effect even though I'm clearly hitting them from a distance? I think so. Well let's uh get out of their spot. Okay. So let's see. Um if I remember correctly, if I go actually outside of the monument, I don't really remember. I am lost. Help. Aha, there we are. Now, if I go, I think it's through the top here. Yes. Come here. Oh yeah. Sponges, wait, oh yeah, let's see, if I, I don't need you, go away, wet sponges, I just need to like, use more potions, um, oh, there must be another guy here somewhere, come here, I'm a fisherman. Oh, where? Oh, where is this guy? Well... Oh, shoot.
I'm here for war. Oh, no, this one. Wait, whoopsies, I didn't mean to pick up all that extra stuff. Now, I think I'll skip the bomb. Prismarine. I'll keep the Dark Prismarine. I'll get rid of that. Let's see. Um, I definitely want the gold. Oof, now that sound's gone. Nope. I'm lost. Help, please. Someone call Google Maps. Okay, if I tunnel out of here, I should get out. I'm not getting out. Right, there we are. Okay, but it's a shame that this monument... There is another one, this damn guy. Well, that other guy can stay there, I don't need him. Now, I'm tempted about that ship, since it would lead me to buried treasure. However, I've already got a conduit to it, thanks to the power of the Wandering Trader. We are on to the next Ocean Monument. This is Ocean Monument 2 on the checklist, and I decided in the end I'm just going to hide the markers, so I'll eventually find the Monument of my dreams. So, again, Potion of Water Breathing, yes please. Potion of Night Vision. Now I'm just going to quickly dive in and dig out. So... Oof. Oh, I can't see. There we are. Come here. You are a wimp. Tried it to the face. Oh, the satisfaction. Okay. Nice. Now... Oh, the... Are there always two inside a monument? There's another guy in this direction. Alright, more hot chocolate. kind of like landed on you. Oh, I knocked him back here. I thought I destroyed him. There we go. Oh, don't need it. Sponges. Actually, I've been doing a terrible job of getting sponges. Wait, what? There's another one? Wait, where are the sponges even kept? Hello? I'm here to deliver. Actually, no, I'm the collection man. I collect sponges and gold. Well, there's gold. Ah, of course. Do these guys just spawn randomly? I thought these used to be like a boss. I doubt I have any more of them to worry with. To worry about. Harry Moe and Curly. Oh, I wish I could one chop them. Excuse me, sir, where do you keep your sponges? Um, I don't know where they are. 
could you please help me? Other option is I just um, dig every single monument out for their blocks and I'll find the sponges by process of elimination. That ice spike has pierced a monument like the Titanic. As we're looking around, it does have a bit of a height variance, unfortunately. Not ideal. Wait, swap it out so my boots. There we go. Yeah, there is a bit of a height difference. Over here, it doesn't seem to be as deep. And plus, look at all of that, I'd have to dig out above it. It is appreciated the fact that it's just gravel and not kelp. Because you know the whole thing about kelp, you know, replacing water blocks would be very annoying. Yeah, and look, there's a ravine over here. Although it's a bit far out. Oh wait, no, does it? Oh, I could easily fill that in. Okay, this monument's actually not a bad location. Where is it on the map? Oh, it's, seems fine. Where is my boat? Oh dear. Did my boat, like, get broken? Excuse me, drowned. Did you, uh, take my boat from me? Where do you go? There he is. No, he didn't have my boat. Uh, before. There we are. Come here. Now, I don't see any others. Can we just take a moment at how many buffs and debuffs I have stacked there right at this moment? Yeah, I don't like this biome choice, but I will take this gold. Thank you. And the copper. I'll throw it all through my auto crafting well, setup that we made. The auto ore processor. Now I know I can't resist. I'm right here. See, there's a chest. It's got my name on it. Let's see. Anything worth taking? Nope. Apart from eating that. No, I can't eat it right now. But I will. Because then it's another food. This has turned more into a mining trip than a monument trip. However, I am not a fan of this one. This guy is definitely a no-go for as far as a monument. Look how deep it is there. Sorry, little monument. I am going to hide you. Goodbye. All right, boat. There we are. This one was really close to the last one. All right, let's get my hot chocolate. Oh, sorry everyone. I realized, can't see that well. We'll quickly get inside, take them out, then deal with the other potions. Come here. I'm going to make a necklace out of your heads. Let's see. Oh, I'm slightly hungry. Nice. More food. I don't need the kelp. Ocean visibility. Night vision. No, I've already got night vision. Water breathing. I can... Oh, this is different. This would have been a very easy guardian to find. Well, if we take a look around, it's definitely... I know, I think it's too close for my liking. I want it to be pretty much in the ocean, 
so I don't have to worry about as many mob spawns in the surrounding areas. Got a chest, paper, buried treasure map. Can't say no to a buried treasure map. And I can say no to all that though. So I think this monument is also a bust. Especially it's got that there. Oh, it's actually not that bad. Oh, the dolphin. Thank you. Wow, that's actually really fast. Don't mind me. Oh no, I've got my name fatigue and I'm not going to use one of my hot chocolates for that. Dolphin, could I get your grace please? Where is my boat? Where is the boat? There we are. Wait. Wait. How dare you? Oh. Oops. Uh, yeah. You know, as they say, third time's the charm. Oh. I was hitting my boat. Okay. Don't need the rotten flesh, go away. But yep, this monument, no go. So I've got two more monuments. Though this monument, it fits the bill, it's not outrageously far away. It's actually a good area. So I'm thinking. I know, I'm. Do I even go to these monuments? They might... Yeah, like, I think I can see a ravine on the map right there. Well, this one... That is absolutely a ravine right there. So I think it's the best monument that I have access to. So with that, I'm going to actually head back to base. Empty out my inventory. And then decide what I'm going to do next. Let's see. Gold. Lapis. Zinc. Copper. Iron. Ooh, do I do the diamonds myself? Okay. I think I worked it out that statistically I get slightly more diamonds by putting it through here than using Fortune 3. I got five sponges. I didn't find any of the sponge repositories. This will show my failure. Uh, I'll find them all when I demolish the entire thing. And I've already got the chest piece, however. Slightly better. Slightly. It's an improvement. Okay, let's go over here. Since I'll throw the lapis in here so it can just blockify it. That, I was about to unblock five the gold to stick it in there. I clearly care about having a machine do it more than the practicality. But bam. Obsidian goes somewhere in there. Actually, can all just go in there. I'll throw the prismarine stuff in here. Got a map. Now, I'm thinking there is a dungeon here. And I've never done any of these dungeons before. I think it'd be really fun to go do it. It's just, uh, this is a really long distance. Like, so long I th may do a nether portal trick to get there. Actually, I think I will do a nether portal trick to get to this side. Because that is an incredibly long distance. So I'm going to make note of these and get a portal set up. So I have dug a lovely hole, as you can see there. I worked out where it is, so this is what, one eighth distance. Jump in, and I should be on the other side of my continent of land, right near the edge. Bam. Now if I just create a portal, uh, exit. Hard to see my keyboard. There we are. 
Now I realized I did not bring a boat with me. I'm not going to go back, so I'm simply going to cannibalize some trees. This should be enough wood. Actually, no, it won't be because I've got to make a crafting table. Sorry, little trees. Have instant health. Let's throw in some invisibility to check out the place. Alright, let's have a look. I think this is going to be a whole lot easier with um, being invisible. Let's see, anything of note down here? No. Okay, so it's pretty nifty, it's like floating containers. That's probably how I describe this. Or like mines. If you've ever seen like the Nemo movie, that's kind of what it makes me think. Yeah, this is like if there were mines hanging off the shore. Let's see. So Adept Strider 3, already got the book, not really useful to me, and I can get as many as I want. Okay. Oof. Did he drop his trident? No. Uh, well, I've got one, so I should complain. I think that's going to wrap it up for today, honestly. I'm not quite sure how long the episode will be once I edit all the boring parts out of, you know, going through ocean monuments and little things I've done here and there. But otherwise, until next time...